Hey guys, it's Devani and I'm coming to you live from our bedroom, which I have been in this bedroom for the past few days. Why you ask? Because I have tested positive for COVID-19. So I have been in here and I will remain in here for a few more days until I'm finished with my quarantine. So uh, backtracking a little bit, my husband was sick last week and we usually like to go get tested whenever we're sick, even if it's just like a little sniffle, just to be sure that it's not COVID-19. So he was sick last week. We went to get tested. We both got tested and we both got our test results and they both came back negative. The very next day, I got full blown sick, like flat on my face. I was so sick. And I thought that was strange because the way that I was feeling was just, it was intense. I had a fever. Um, I felt really drowsy, like I just wanted to sleep. I had the worst headache. Uh, my throat wasn't really sore. Um, I did have like some tightness in my throat area, my chest area, some shortness of breath. I had a cough. I had most of the symptoms. I'm just praying to God that I don't lose my sense of taste or smell and it's kind of faintly gone because my nose is like really clogged up but yeah I'm praying please I'm praying that I don't lose my sense of taste and smell but I, I got really sick you know the next day the day after that and then after that I progressively got better to where I'm at a few days later um, I still have the on and off headache I'm still really stuffy uh, my throat will sometimes kind of feel weird. Um, I still have that cough, but overall I'm doing a lot better, but you know, I still have to remain in this bedroom by myself for a few more days. So, you know, I've been catching up on, you know, The Bachelorette, I fell off watching that. And I was just in time and I didn't even realize that the last episode was airing the day that I was catching up, so yeah. And I, if you're a Bachelorette fan, I really love her and Nate, Michelle and Nate. I think they're so cute. Um, and I'm really happy that they got engaged. That was who I was rooting for, for her to be with him. And then for some reason, Dancing with the Stars came on after, um, like on autoplay or whatever. Mind you, this is not on my queue, so I don't know how that came on, but it's probably because it's ABC. I don't know, but I found myself watching that and it was season 30. I don't even know if that's the current season that they're on, but Matt James was on it. So I was like, okay, I'll give it a chance. Uh, Jojo Siwa was on it. I'm not a Jojo Siwa fan, but I know who that is. I met Olivia Jade, uh, Lori Laughlin's daughter was on that season. So I was like, okay. So I watched like two episodes of that. I do want to find a show to watch. That's not like a reality show that I could just like probably binge. Um, but yeah, TikTok, I've been scrolling on TikTok. That's pretty much what I've been doing. But today I do have more strength. I feel like I'm able to like do stuff. And this room has gotten quite messy because, you know, I haven't been feeling well. So I think that I want to do a little bit of cleaning and just, you know, getting the space all nice and organized even before getting sick i've been behind on laundry so i would like to catch up on laundry i was also thinking about this for the longest time i want to get rid of a lot of clothes that i have because some of them are a little bit too small on me because i did gain weight um the past like two years i did gain weight because i was a lot smaller when I was like 18 to 20 and then after 20 hit I did gain some weight so I still have clothes from when I was younger and it's just a bit small on me and it's also not really my style anymore so there's a few pieces that I feel like I am ready to let go of and um, I kind of was thinking of starting a depop so if you guys would be interested in maybe looking, checking out some of my clothes, buying some of my clothes. I can make a Depop and put the clothes on there. And obviously after I have no COVIDs, then I can like, you know, start selling them. So let me know if you're interested in a Depop um, and I can make one. I have my humidifier going and my nasal passages just feel so dry. Oh my gosh. <sighs> that's, that's like the one thing that I'm struggling with. 
and that's why I sound kind of weird because my nasal passages are just so dry so yeah I want to do some cleaning and then I also want to take care of myself um, yesterday I did a face mask you can see like how dark my under eyes are getting so yesterday I did a face mask and my face felt really refreshed moisturized I need as much moisture as possible in my skin so I'm gonna do another face mask today uh, maybe a hair mask uh, probably just something light though I washed my hair yesterday and I put some coconut oil in it uh, so I just want to, you know, make sure that my hair is moisturized because it is feeling a bit dry. So I'm going to probably do that. Um, and then I don't know what else we'll see. But you guys get to spend the day with me in this room, you know, because we can't leave. But I think the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go brush my teeth. And then I'm going to go grab something to eat because I'm starving. And my sleep cycle is so messed up. I went to bed like really late because I just could not fall asleep. And then I slept in. I woke up at maybe like 10.40. I believe that's the time that I woke up. Yeah, I think I woke up at like 10.40. Which is not super, super late. My husband is on his way to get tested. And the place that's near our house is so packed. Like he's been in line for five hours. Five hours. When I got tested... I had to wait for like two hours, almost three hours, like two and a half, like three hours. It's insane right now. And that place has never been that packed ever. And I, I don't know if it's because people are traveling for the holidays or if people are getting sick. It's probably a combination of both. I don't know, but I'm over here getting distracted. Let me go brush my teeth and grab my food. I'm gonna be eating some leftovers. I got DoorDash yesterday, so I'm just gonna finish the food. And then I might order DoorDash again today. We'll see how I feel, what I'm in the mood for. All right, y'all, we're in the bathroom. I'm gonna use that cleanser that I got from my BoxyCharm video because I really like it. So if you haven't seen that video, you should go check it out. BoxyCharm is really cool. It's like 20, well, they're raising the price. It used to be $25 a month. Uh, they're raising it to, I think, $27.99 a month, but you get full-size products. I'm not affiliated with them at all. I just really like the concept, and I like that you're getting full-size products. So this is the cleanser that I'm using. It's the Kate Somerville Goat Milk Cleanser. It's really nice and gentle on my face, so I'm going to use that to wash my face real quick, and then I'm going to brush my teeth. If you watched my BoxyCharm video, I was trying to figure out which product it was that left my face feeling so soft. And it was between the face mask and the cleanser and I used them together. I put the face mask on and then I washed it off and used the cleanser. And I have confirmed that it is the face mask. I put the face mask on by itself yesterday and I washed it off alone just with um, washing off the product. And my face was left feeling so soft, supple, moisturized. So I can confirm that that face mask really, really leaves your face feeling like that. This cleanser, it doesn't leave my face feeling stripped of moisture at all. But it doesn't leave my face feeling as soft as the face mask. COVID-19 has given me like the worst dark circles. Like I look like a zombie. I'm gonna go grab my food now. I'm not gonna stay out here, even though no one's home. I'm gonna still eat in the bedroom because I don't know when they're coming back and I don't want my germs to be, you know, lingering out here. So <laughs> I'm just gonna go heat my food up and go back to the room. I think it's still cold. Let me warm it up some more. So I have also been trying to avoid contact with my cat because cats and dogs can get COVID-19. So I've been keeping my distance from her and I haven't been playing with her and I haven't been around her. She hasn't been in the room with me at all since I've tested positive. So I'm trying to keep her safe too. 
Okay, I have my food. I'm back in the room now, and I'm going to watch the finale of The Bachelorette while I'm eating. Um, yeah, I didn't watch the finale yet. I do know who she ended up with because, um, reality Steve. And, um, I just, I don't know why I do this to myself, but with this show, I sometimes like spoilers, so I wanted to know who it was, so I figured it out. But I'm gonna watch the finale, even though I already know who it's gonna be. So I'll do that whilst I'm eating. Oh my gosh, you guys. So I was trying to just sit here, eat, and watch the finale of The Bachelorette. But the, I thought it was on my end, maybe. But it says new episode on Hulu, week 10, which is the finale. And when I click on it, it just ends at episode 9, and there's nothing after that. So I googled it and apparently everyone who's trying to watch it on Hulu a day later like me is having the same problem and usually Hulu is really good at uploading episodes the very next day which is what they usually do. But yeah, fans are like so intense and mad right now that they're tweeting at Hulu and at Hulu support and Hulu has said nothing so I don't know what's going on but I hope that the episode comes on soon because I was trying to watch it. Alright guys, my nose is so dry. I don't really have mucus, but it's making me feel stuffy and congested because of that. So I found myself some Vicks and I'm boiling some water. And this is something that we used to do when I was younger. We used to boil water, put Vicks in it, and then inhale it and it would just kind of clear you up. So I'm boiling the water right now and I'm making myself some tea. Just the water, it's, it's boiling, it's getting there. So my husband bought us this tea and it's actually really good if you're sick and you don't even need to add honey because it's naturally pretty sweet. So I'm going to add a spoonful of Vicks to the water and I'm just going to let it dissolve and it's going to release that Vicks vapor with the steamed water. You can see it's already starting to disperse. Okay, I'm back in the room and I moved the Vicks water into this room. I ended up adding one more spoon because I wanted to be extra strong and it's on the floor. I'm sitting right near it and I can feel the Vicks strength <laughs> coming up into my face already. So I'm going to leave this in my room because I also want my room to like have that steam going and I'm just going to inhale it for a little bit. And my tea is over there steeping. If you guys are sick and your nose is super clogged up, you need to try this because I already feel my nose unclogging and I'm able to breathe better already. So definitely try boil water and put one or two spoons of Vicks in it and just inhale, leave it in your room, let the steam get all up in your room and just breathe it in and it really clears you up. I've also accumulated quite some trash since I've been in here sick like juice bottles or water bottles and food trash. So I'm gonna go ahead and separate my trash. I'm gonna put my recyclables in this box and leave the trash in the trash can and then go dump it out into the main trash. Body Armor has been my favorite recently. This is my favorite flavor, it's gold berry. I like a few other of their flavors, but especially because I'm sick, I like to drink these because they give me a lot of energy and electrolytes, antioxidants, all that type of stuff. I prefer Body Armor over Gatorade and Powerade, so if you've never tried it, I would definitely recommend that you try Body Armor. I don't even know how long I've been laying in bed, but I've been here for a good minute. I just randomly got super tired, so I'm just relaxing for a little bit. Um, I had my husband switch over the laundry for me and start a new load, and he's going to bring them up for me so that I can just put them away when they're done. And he's about to go out and get us some food as well. We're getting some sarku, so I got some sushi, spring rolls... So I'm going to be eating that soon. And yeah, I'll continue um, cleaning when I have a little bit more strength. But I just felt kind of dead for a second. So I thought I'd lay down and just relax. Randomly decided to check. And y'all, it's not a drill. They finally put the Bachelorette finale on Hulu. So I'm about to watch that. I would definitely move to Minnesota. So I just finished watching 
the bachelorette and it was a whole three hours of my life so i did kind of pause it to take care of some stuff because you know this is kind of a long time so i am i have three loads of laundry one that's finished but it's like a small load one that's drying one that's washing so i'm waiting for that load to dry so that i can put away those two loads and then keep going from there um so that's what i've been doing in the meantime while watching the show um i think i'm gonna do some self-care stuff now so i'm gonna do my face mask right now and i'm also going to put some oil in my hair and i think that's it and then i'll take a shower after so i'm actually gonna start with oiling my scalp so that i can just get it all oiled up put it in a bun and get it out of my face so that i can put on the face mask so i will do that and i'm watching the one the only alexis jada she has probably become my favorite youtuber her story times are the best she has gone through some really tough stuff and just seeing how much she's grown is just incredible so if you would like to check out an incredible youtuber alexis jada so i'm gonna watch one of her old story times while i'm oiling my scalp and pampering my face All right, y'all, so we got our pile of clothes. We got another story time, and I'm about to dive in and get this wrapped up. I just finished putting away the clothes, and I also put away um, some other clothes. Over there, we have a hamper that we keep always over there, and it's for clothes that we wore maybe one time, and it's not, like, completely dirty, and it's just so that it doesn't, like, you know, end up on the floor. Like, we can take time and put it away another time so it was getting pretty full and it wasn't clothes that we had recently worn it was actually loads of laundry small loads of laundry that i had never put away like some jeans and some undergarments so i put most of it away but i still have to go through and sort through um some more of it um as well as the ones that i just did cheeky is screaming sorry about that but I don't know how, I know I'm super late, but I had never seen the Justin Bieber roast. And I watched it the other day. So I've been in kind of like a roast mood. And I didn't know that the Jonas Brothers had one this year. It's a Netflix special. So if you want to watch it, I don't know. You know, I have nothing better to do right now. So I also ordered some more DoorDash. So I got some McDonald's. It was feeling fat today so got some mcdonald's so i'm gonna eat a little bit and i'm gonna watch this roast and i think that my other load of laundry should be done kind of soon so i'm gonna switch it over and probably that'll probably be the last one that i do for today i still have some more that i need to wash but it's just gonna be too much and it's gonna be too late all right y'all so i'm about to go shower because i have not showered yet I was thinking about washing my hair again since I put the coconut oil in it, but I'm going to leave it um, and I'm probably just going to wash it tomorrow because I don't want to wash my hair every single day. It can strip your hair of the natural oils and moisture. Even going one day in between, I usually don't do that, but I don't really like when there's oil in my hair just sitting. It just kind of weighs my hair down, makes it look more greasy and i don't really like that look so i'll just leave it in until tomorrow and wash it out but for right now i'm just gonna go take a shower i just finished showering and while i was showering i remembered that i said that one of my goals today was to sort through my clothes so i could figure out what i wanted to put on my depop and i did not do that but honestly i don't i don't think i have the strength to do that i really need to rest so I'll probably do that another day and also let me know if you would be interested in a depop so i know a lot of people shop on there and it would be a cool way for me to get new things too because i want to get rid of some old clothes so that i can find some new things you know spruce up my style a little bit so yeah i think i'm gonna head to bed guys i know i sound really out of breath but i'm still really 
clogged up here so i have to breathe through my mouth a lot of the times so yeah i'm gonna go to bed i really need to rest so i love you guys make sure you subscribe hit the bell notification and <laughs> follow me on my socials see you in the next one hey guys before i actually go i just wanted to update you guys that my husband received his results and he tested negative for covid so it's still just me that has covid in the house 